So that's yeah, we the had a, the NBA was ruined for three straight years where there was no no parody. How come no when anything. I said that, Swiper? I'm I'm a hater. When I said that, KD threw a monkey wrench and everything. I'm a hater when I said that. Well, Steph but, did too. They all did. But, give me a break. Steph's legacy got changed. KD's legacy got changed. The NBA's legacy got changed. LeBron, think about it. Think of all the things that got destroyed. The Kawhi Leonard Spurs team might have went to the championship and won a championship. That what was that 16, 17 when they won 67 games? 16, well, 15, 16, 15, 16, and then yeah. they won six, whatever they won. The next they, won year, right? they were great the next year, too. Right. right. So they could have won a championship, but they didn't run into that. And then KD's legacy, I think he, if I don't know if he went, I, I genuinely don't know if he went to championship or not. Um, at this point, I don't think he would have, but I think that Steph, they would have won one more, maybe, but that whole four Pete, that four championship for Steph wouldn't have been there. I don't think, I don't think they got past San Antonio consistently. I think the Kawhi conversation is different all time. If Kawhi led that Spurs team, we'd be having conversations. Kawhi, literally top 25, top 20 player ever. I think if he would have had one of those kind of runs in him when he was fully healthy, when he was young, DPOY, 25 points a game, crazy efficiency. Um, I think that the, the LeBron legacy would be different. I think LeBron would have at least one more championship at his apex. He would have five championships and went through Curry again or went through Kawhi in them again. I think that all would have changed. I think James Harden, 2018, 19, going, they would have went. Chris Paul, but again, he goes down, doesn't get healthy. He might have won a ring that year. Everything. Eat it, Ron. Every <laughs> single thing. Hey, you know, three you know, years. You know I'm not trying to hear. Hey, so I'm all of you on everything that, yo. except for the Rockets. He did what he did. And you don't think 2018, 19, they would have had a – They checked you to call me haters for the job. because of what he I'm did. A, a, I'm going to all of it. I'm going to tell you why they don't handle business. Because if KD stays in Oklahoma City, they don't beat Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant. I'm sorry, they do. That team, that they, year, they would have. They and they, yeah, they they just don't beat that. <coughs> I'm gonna just I'm gonna just put it simple as that. I don't think don't forget don't forget about the Pelicans too. Pelicans weren't beating anybody. They weren't beating. I don't teams. think that Warriors team stays together. I don't. I don't think they stay together. I think I, I think they end up getting blown up. And I, and I think we don't have to entertain these years longer conversations from some people like, oh, is Steph Curry on the same plane as Kawhi as uh, LeBron James? He beat him in the finals. Like, look, I'm like nobody cares about that. Like everybody knows what happened. Everybody remembers. Yes. Everybody remembers LeBron was the best player in those runs. He just had no help, injuries, or you had an overpowered team. If that era doesn't exist, we don't have a back to back champion in the NBA since the Miami Heat. We don't have like these crazy super teams. You can't even bring up those championships in their well, all-time on, discussions so for real. Remember, the super chat says if either of those teams go back to back, maybe it the said, Cavs. Said if, if the maybe Cavs, Cavs go back to back, or LeBron, if the uh, or if the Warriors go back to back. If changes? LeBron, if LeBron, if LeBron, if he has, if LeBron goes back to back versus that Warriors team, he's in, he's in a, he's further up the goat conversation than than he is now. Easy. I think Steph is the more legitimized if he goes back to back too. If he doesn't have Katie. Well, I mean, we got we got some people that already have Steph at three all time. So oh, at who? <laughs> yeah. At who? Oh, uh, so yeah. you missed. We, we we no, 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 no. Who we, three? We had, we, we, had a, we, we had a dude mm -hmm. up here. Who, yeah, he has Steph Curry top three all time. And so, to your point, Swipe, but everything that you just said, if KD doesn't go to the Warriors, we're not having that conversation. That's not going on. That's not. Well, really Harrison Barnes could have held it down to town. No, he couldn't. Right, right, Mark? I, I want you guys to really yeah, remember yeah, yeah. how good That's that Warriors team cool. was mm -hmm. before before KD. That Warriors <laughs> team was still 73 and 9. Biggest choke job that, in NBA. That Warriors team still had it without KD. Biggest choke job in NBA history. And you're right. But without KD, if that team still stays intact, they still have action those next two years. Of that Kawhi Leonard team isn't the next three losing years. to them the next year, though, is what I'm telling you. That team, ah, no. they were they were monsters. Monster. I mean, Ron, you remember everybody even going into the series. Remember, they were. I know they were. It was a, it was a third quarter in first game. I get that, but they were like dismantling. They were up twenty. Swipe up. Dismantling. They were up them. twenty. Before they were machine. They, they look like they. And again, uh, chill. They look like the 2013-14 Spurs. Everybody chill, was he on, he, he didn't just roll his ankle, chill. We right. know what happened. He didn't just roll his ankles. And that's with KD on the roster, by the way. That's with KD on the roster. That wasn't that wasn't just that that what that wasn't just that Warriors team. That's with KD on the roster. So take KD off that I, roster. I hear what y'all saying. And everything. 
I, I hear what y'all saying. Even without KD on that team, it's still not a foregone conclusion that the Spurs win that series. And if they do, I think that's the point. They're not, though. they're not. They're not steamrolling them. That series goes to seven. But I still got the Warriors. And I and I think step if KD doesn't go there, they, they beat LeBron. Steph, do you think they beat LeBron, Ron? Did they, they beat that that version of LeBron? Steph still it over that whole course of time. Steph still gets a ring. Whoa, 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 whoa. 14, 15, fine. I'm saying, does he beat LeBron in 2016, 17, and 17, 18? I think they, my, my, Miles and I have had this conversation more than once, more than twice. I think they smoked them in the finals. I don't think they, the them. I think they smoked them. The Cavs? If they, if they get back, if, if the Warriors get back to the finals after what they did in 16, 17, I think the Cavs smoked them in the finals the next year. Man, and now I we got to blow know. this thing up. Now I we got to blow know. this thing up. This thing ain't what it was. I, I don't know. Plus, y'all y'all, y'all forget how bad the Warriors was. Y'all forgetting how – yo, still – they still had the most fluid offense. That's still when Klay Thompson was Klay Thompson. Andre Igg was still Andre Igg at that time. Like they, What does that have to do with LeBron James with the healthy Cleveland Cavaliers roster? Do you, do you remember what they were doing to the Eastern Conference? Like, even LeBron, if he didn't get overpowered in that game one, and think about it, if he didn't have to deal with an overpowered Golden State in that game one, think about it, if it was a regular Golden State team from the 15 and 16 year, that over, the overtime doesn't happen. The team that was exist. up 3-1 on them. The team that was up 3-1 on them. What do you mean up 3-1? That, that, that wasn't that team. That, that They had KD on that team in 18. Yeah, there was a different team. No, I'm talking about the year before that. The 2016 Warriors that were up 3-1. That's what he's talking about. That's the team that runs it right back. Okay, great. And then what happened? They got smoked out. Why? Because the yes. guard. Because the guard. They, they, the Warriors got worse. They got worse. Steph didn't. didn't by the way, I'm not trying to blame Steph because I don't want this to turn into that. Games five through seven. <laughs> I, I my thing is, I hear everything you guys are saying. I hear what you even saying with the Rockets. I hear what you're saying with uh, the Spurs. I hear what you're saying with the Cavs. I still think you guys are downplaying how good Miles, what is, what is, 73 what is, and 9 Golden State Warriors were. And if they bring it back the next year, they don't just all of a sudden go from a 73 and 9 team to a, a, a 48 win team. No, it's still that Miles, same what, roster. What, what do the Warriors do? Do, do? do they just run it back in, in your estimation? And you and I have had this conversation, but I just want you to refresh my memory. So they, they lose that next year and they don't get KD. What do you think that they do to upgrade that roster? They use their max slot to sign another wing. I don't know who's available in 2016. Mm-hmm. I can't go back in time. I don't remember. Whatever wing's available, they go and get them. Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's the plan. They, they, they're they still trying to make the roster better. They have a you max think they, they would have resigned Harrison in 2016 to, on July 4th? <laughs> I'm going to take that as a no. <laughs> They have, a max con- they have a max contract so They're going to try and they're going to take and- that as a no. Now, I will say that's the luckiest, the lucky, the best, the best injury and luckiest injury in the history of the sport. Maybe in, I can't do the NFL because there's definitely one in there somewhere. But in the worst, the luckiest injury in the history of basketball is Steph Curry's ankle injury. When he signed that four year, $44 million oh, deal, they got him on the cheap. They got that him was in. so insane. Cheap. And then just happens to open up when the NBA is like, oh, here's an additional $20 million in your salary cap because of the TV spike. And then it's like, oh, snap, Kevin Durant. And remember, the day before, it was like speculation, but we thought it was ludicrous on by July 3rd ludicrous that he would just leave Russ like that. And then out of nowhere, we got the ESPN update. Kevin Durant is signing with the Golden State Warriors and everybody, everybody from there. Duncan, uh, David Robinson too. But dunk, that right there, it was over. It was over. It was over. It was cooked. Couldn't believe it. it was, I was excited as a basketball fan. I wanted to see it. But they, that, that first game, the first game they played on the court, Mars, I don't know how old you were at that point in time. It was, it was cinema. Cinema. <laughs>